Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a random sinew line ice dye. This kind of resembles a geode a little bit, but not entirely. The shirt has been prepped like normal and I have it turned inside out. What I'm going to do is just randomly tie sinew lines on the shirt. I'm also tying both sides of the shirt at the same time. You know when I do a geode, I usually only tie one side of the shirt or one layer of fabric at a time. For this one, I'm going to do both layers of fabric most of the time. There are a few times where I'm just going to kind of grab one layer of fabric and tie it. I truly am trying to keep this as random as possible. I don't really want it to look like a geode, but I do want there to be some definition lines in the shirt. I've done several of these and I just really like the way they turn out. Like I said, you end up with the white lines in the shirt because the sinew won't allow the dye underneath that area. So I have the white definition lines in the shirt. And then normally with this design, I'll do just kind of random colors over the top. So I just received my order from Happy Cat Tie-Dye for some Strawberry Skies. I saw the color out on Facebook and thought it was beautiful, so I ordered some. Along with my Strawberry Skies, she sent me a couple of samples of Silver Spring, Oat Milk, and Mystic Blue. So that's what I'm going to use on this shirt. I'm truly going in blind on this shirt because I have no idea what these colors are like. But I figured, let's give it a whirl. So to dye the shirt, I've placed it inside of a plastic basket, which I purchased at the Dollar Tree Dollar Store. And then I have another basket just like it turned upside down to keep this one out of the muck. All muck is, is the runoff from the melting ice and dye. And you can dye down in the muck, but I want to dye this one on a rack or out of the muck because I want to see what the colors look like. Then I have both of these baskets down inside of a larger container to catch all the muck. I'm also going to add the dye over the top of the ice. So I'm adding some ice on top of the shirt. And then because some of the holes in these baskets are a little bit large, I'm going to use some of my two inch ice cubes. That will help keep the ice from falling through the holes quite as much. I'm going to kind of fill in some of those areas where I have gaps and make sure I get the whole shirt covered with ice. So over the top of the ice, I'm going to randomly place the Silver Spring, Oat Milk, and Mystic Blue from Happy Cat Tie Dye. I'll put a link down below this video in the description for where you can purchase these dyes. I noticed they finally have their website up and going, and so you can purchase them online. It was a little tough to get the baggies open wearing the gloves.
Okay, so now that I have all of the dye over the top of the ice, I'm going to add a little bit of additional soda ash over the top. Then I'm going to put kind of a lid on the top of this. Just lay a lid on top so that the direct sunlight doesn't hit the shirt and place it outside and allow it to process out in the heat. When I did this shirt, it was still in the 80s, so I put it outside to process where it could get nice and warm. Then, after all the ice melted, I allowed it to process for about 24 hours. Then I took it to my utility sink and I began rinsing it in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. I noticed there are some lighter spots on this shirt, but I kind of like that. I'm not going to add any more dye and I'm not going to add any more ice. After rinsing in cold for a while, I untied the shirt and warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing in hot water to rinse out the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. There wasn't a whole lot of dye coming out of this shirt, but I had several other ones that I was rinsing the same day. So I went ahead and ran a little bit of really hot water down in one of the plastic wash tubs that I use when I tie dye, put a little bit of blue Dawn dish detergent in the water and I just allowed the shirt to soak. That way I didn't have to just keep rinsing until it rinsed clear. Then I changed the water out when it cooled off. I continued that soaking process until the water was almost clear. Then I put the shirt along with some of Dharma's professional textile detergent into my washing machine and I washed the shirt using a hot water cycle. Okay, so now that the shirt has been washed and dried, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you think? So I think that the shirt photographed a little bit darker than what it looks in person. I think it's a little brighter in person, but I think it's gorgeous. I love these colors. They're really pretty. Like I said, I went in blind. I had no idea what these colors were going to look like, and I'm very pleasantly surprised. I think it's the oat milk where I'm getting, you know, the brown type color. I don't know where that green's coming from. Like I said, I don't know really anything about these three colors. I probably should use them each individually to see how they operate, but they're just really pretty colors. I don't know a whole lot about Happy Cat Tie Dye Company, except that I think they mix their own dyes and sell the dyes that they mix. Like I said, I ordered specifically to get the Strawberry Skies. I've seen several people using that out on Facebook and the color was just really pretty. So I wanted to try it out. And these were just some samples that they sent, but I love them. They're awesome. I'm going to have to order some more of the dyes and check them out a little bit further. But I really love the shirt. I love this design. It's just kind of an organic, not really a specific you know, like a fan fold or a spiral. It's just a more free flowing design, but the sinew lines give just enough definition in there that it makes it interesting to me. At least that's what I think. But what do you guys think? Drop me some comments down below and let me know. And if you've enjoyed watching me make this shirt and experiment with these colors, I sure would appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.